just think about the sum of everything. Right? Forget about whether we're a naturalist or a theist. Just think about everything. Is there an explanation for that? Uh, and if so, what could it possibly look like? Straight off, you might think, how could there be an explanation for that? But there's one possibility. You might think, well, maybe it just it's necessary that there's something. I haven't said anything about what it is, just there's this kind of sum of everything. It's necessary that there's something that explains why we get this sum of everything. Okay, now think about the details here. If you're a theist, you're going to think that the necessary thing, if you think that you need an explanation here, you're going to think that it's God and that God exists of necessity. If you're a naturalist and you're moved by these considerations, you're going to think, okay, uh, there's something that exists of necessity. It's natural reality. That's what there has to be. Right. And now we've got the same explanation in each case, right? We're appealing to necessity to explain why there's something rather than nothing. And there's no explanatory advantage that goes one way rather than the other. Right. And it's open to us to say there's no explanation why there's something rather than nothing. It's brutally contingent. And there have been some theists who've gone that way and there have been some naturalists who've gone that way. Uh, a naturalist, no less than a theist, can be undecided about which way to go. But they'll what they can insist is that if the right way to go is to say the explanation here appeals to necessity, that's equally available to the naturalist and to the theist. So there's going to be no explanatory advantage here for the theist. That's kind of the strategy the argumentative strategy.